Hi guys and welcome to a new video. So today I am starting a reading vlog of Working Hard, Hardly Working by Grace Beverly. I'm assuming if you're here on YouTube you kind of know who um, Grace is but she was like a fitness influencer and she now runs two successful businesses so Tala which is sportswear and Shreddy which is like an app for workouts and also like fitness equipment for the home and the gym and she's like the same age as me and runs two very successful businesses so it's just like very inspiring and I got her book I pre-ordered it which is why I've got a signed copy which is cool and I started reading it um two nights ago I've just read the introduction so far um I'm really enjoying it so far because obviously it's non-fiction and it's basically about being productive and how to be the most productive um and balancing like productivity and work like self-care and yeah I'm enjoying it so far she her sense of humor comes across in the introduction like she's putting in like little anecdotes of um like when she's like babysitting and stuff so I'm enjoying it so far if you're reading it too let me know what you think so far in the comments down below and I'm going to continue reading this and then I'll let you know my thoughts in a bit also how pretty is the cover like that gold foiling is just Hey guys, so it is Thursday and I'm finally sitting down to read a bit more of this on my lunch break. I've just started chapter one and yeah, I'm gonna see how much I can get through in the next half an hour before I start working. Hey guys and welcome back. So it's been a while since I last spoke to you and I have finished working hard or hardly working, which means that the like vloggy portion of this vlog, I guess is gonna be kind of short. So I finished this last week when I was at my boyfriend's house. I feel like, considering it was only 200 and something pages, it took me far longer to get through than books normally take me to get through. I guess because it's not fiction, it like took me that little bit longer. Um, I did really enjoy it, and I liked how it was split into two sections. So the working hard, and then the second section was the hardly working section. So in the working hard section, there is um, four separate chapters. Um, so finding your purpose, the productivity method, let it flow and defining success. So finding your purpose is just kind of like what you're good at and what you want to be productive in. And um, throughout the book, she has these little like definition sections, which I really liked because some of the words that were in here, I understood the definition, um, but others were like, new concepts so I found that really helpful and then she also has activities that you can kind of do within the book so finding your purpose it's got like look at your current situation consider your options and that's kind of those two so you can look at like what do you what do you enjoy spending time doing and then is there a way for you to like incorporate that more into your job what I liked throughout the book is that she is very aware of the fact that she is in charge of her own work because she is a CEO and owns her own companies um, and she definitely reflects and says obviously it's not the case for everyone a lot of people are employees and you don't have as much flexibility for example if you're working serving in a restaurant you really don't have that much flexibility with what you're choosing to do but perhaps choosing what you do outside of work time is a better way to attain this like working hard hardly working situation and then she's got the productivity method and she has like a few different concepts in here of how to prioritize tasks and get them done efficiently so she's got like a little table of how you can prioritize and then also has this time blocking method which i found really interesting so she sets out specific time box for different activities and that's what she'll be doing in those activities and she even puts in like her lunch so that is a time block in itself so you're making sure that you get your rest periods then she also goes into this whole thing about like deep work and what deep work is it was just really interesting to read i've never really read much into like productivity um so this was kind of my first steps into it but i've admired grace for a while because she's just incredible i mean she's like the same age as me and she owns two very successful businesses so i feel like there's a lot to learn from her then the next section was let it flow which again was kind of about being in the right kind of headspace for working um so that was interesting too and how to get into your flow and how to prompt creativity and then the final chapter in this section was defining success so 
obviously success looks different for everyone. Um, so depending on your job, it might be like hitting a sales figure, or it might be, I've got this piece of writing done, if you're an author, that kind of thing. So just learning how to define success within your own life and how to set goals and how to like work towards achieving those goals. And then the second section of the book was hardly working. And again, this was split into um, three sections. So the first one is redefining productivity. And again, that's kind of about making productivity what it means to you. Um, the fact that productivity doesn't always have to be like the traditional sense as in you're working all the time. Like if you're taking a section of time off, that could be productive because it's going to make you more refreshed and better for working when you step back into work. Um, then chapter six was having it all, which is kind of about balancing all the different aspects of life. So like social and work and then other things like exercise and just trying to fit those all in and avoiding burnout and how we can try and avoid burnout. And then the last section was the art of doing nothing. So again, that's more like you don't always have to be working and there is something productive in literally doing nothing and what kind of nothing means to you. And then she just had like a final thoughts section. Um, and then she's got a reading list right at the back, which I think contains the books that she references throughout as well as some other ones that she, she suggests reading. So at some point I'm going to go through this and research them and pick out the ones that I find look interesting to me because this book I definitely did find interesting. I really enjoyed it. Again, it did take me longer to read than I expected. Um, it was quite heavy, but at the same time as being heavy, it was, was very readable. Um, the language was accessible. I wouldn't say that the language was difficult to understand. It just, the concepts meant that it took my mind a bit longer to get around them to read it but yeah I finished reading this whilst I was at my boyfriend's while he was doing his uni work I was reading this and yeah I really enjoyed it so if you've read it let me know what your thoughts on it were in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye